Hello! Make sure to go check out our latest Kickstarter. It's for a novel called Honey Walls that Bones has written. It's a cozy, magical, whimsical book about a trans man going on a journey to find his heart and save his mermaid girlfriend. It's a really cute book. I highly recommend. I have read it. I love it. And it's a great own voices book. And yeah, please go check it out. Go pledge to it if you can. We are about a week in and we're steadily getting closer to 50% funded. So go please help us get it funded because I really want to print this book and share it with people because it's really, really good. Okay, now that you've gone and checked that out, on to the vlog. So this week I've been like plagued with the fear that I'm not touching in with my work enough. So every week... I've got this long to-do list that Bones says is really scary, actually, uh, full of things that I need to do every week. Um, and most of it's, like, art-related stuff. Sometimes it's chores and things. So what I usually list is I'll put down all of, like, the video footage I need to collect for the week for the videos that we put out. I'll usually put down, like, you know, magpie updates and... Um, you know, if I owe a piece of artwork for a project or something, I'll write it down. So I've got a bunch of, like, small tasks on there of, from projects that I've just been, like, putting off because they're not super high priority and they just get shuffled on to the next week's list. Yeah, they just fall to the side because I'm usually keeping up with, like, my daily repeat work, like, making video stuff. And <laughs> recently I've had, like, written on that list is, like, get ahead on nine point. Because I feel like I've been, like, the the speed at which I've been going through pencils, it feels like I'm, like, crawling through and every time I work on them, it's, like, one little half of a page. <laughs> so I've been working on the first, like, four pages for, like, three weeks now. But So I keep thinking, like, I need to sit down outside of filming and just do some nine-point pencils and get some, get ahead on it a little bit. Otherwise, it's gonna be, like, a year before I finish these heckin' pencils. And I still have the coloring stage to do. So yeah, I can't afford to, like, wait forever to work on these pencils. Um, but it keeps getting put off because life is busy. <laughs> I'm also feeling the same way about getting ahead on uh, Magpie because of other projects that have come up, like uh, like a little anthology piece I had to do and working on the 24-hour comic corrections. I feel like I have not touched Magpie in a couple weeks, and I, like I, I have a buffer for Magpie at least, so I'm still getting pages out, but like I want to get ahead. I want to I want to get ahead on it and get more pages done. Um, and I guess, like, part of it is, like, a fear of falling behind. Like, with Magpie, what if I run out of buffer and then I have to scramble to get a page done and then it looks bad? <laughs> and with Nine Point, of course, like, I'm I'm nervous about, like, not getting these pages done fast enough and taking forever and running out of things to talk about on these vlogs. Because, like, I feel like I've said everything I can say about penciling right now. But, I mean, I'm sure there's more to say, but right now I feel like I haven't had any, like, breakthroughs about, like, learning new stuff with penciling nine point so I feel like I don't have anything interesting to talk about anyways this is all besides the point I, I just I, I wish I was touching in with my projects more but I just don't have the time Bones and I were talking the other day and he was like he was saying we should do the hundred days of making comics again because when I did that last year it's where we, we put out a video every day for a hundred days and every day I would work on my comic for 30 minutes and record it and I got so much work done during those, like, three months of, of doing the challenge. Like, I got ahead on Magpie, and yeah, it was crazy. It was great. I did art every day, and some days I really hated it, but I still did it every day. <laughs> Whereas I feel now, it's really hard to motivate myself to do stuff unless it's gonna be filmed, which to me sounds, like, kind of sad. <laughs> it's not really. Like, it makes sense, because it's usually, like, okay, we have a video to get out this week, you know, that's the, the closest deadline right now, so I'm just gonna work on stuff and get the video out. Um, and it's also, like, a smaller time commitment thing, because sometimes I'll sit down and I'll be like, okay, I've got to finish the magpie page, or I've got to finish a nine-point page so that I can get ahead. Whereas, like, it's easier to sit down and be like, okay, I've got to record for 30 minutes, I'm gonna do that. It's also been, like, even more condensed, because... We've been doing live streams on Twitch to do our footage, so I get, like, 
three footage sessions done. So like it's an hour and a half. So every half an hour I get a new piece of footage done. And I've been doing that like once or twice a week. And I've been getting lots of work done during those times. But outside of that, I'm not getting any art done. And I feel bad about that. So yeah, it makes sense why I'm only working on stuff when I'm filming. It's like the most efficient way to do things because I get film out of it and I get art out of it. But yeah, I just, I wish I was working on it more, but I also know I need to relax more. But relaxing is really hard <laughs> and kind of stressful because I'm not working and uh, but I need to not worry about working. It's really hard, guys. <laughs> so yeah, who knows? I don't think we'll do the 100 days challenge soon just because we've got other stuff going on. But who knows? Maybe we'll change our mind. Bones and I tend to do things on a whim. But yeah, I just, I want to work on stuff daily or get more work done. Get ahead on things so I can stop worrying about them. Although I could also just stop worrying about them. I don't know. I've just got things on my list that I really want to tick off because they've been on there forever. And if I just get them off, then I don't have to think about them anymore. So anyways, I should celebrate the things I've gotten done because I have been getting stuff done. So like, it's like, I'm not touching it with nine point magpie as much as I want to, but I'm still getting other projects completed. So for example, I just handed in, like a few days ago, I handed in my comic pages for the hundreds anthology. So yeah, I'll, 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 I, I finished my, my little comic for that and handed it in. So I was really pumped when I finished that because like, I don't know, there's just this, like, rush you get when you finish a project and send it off to be printed. It's the best. I mean, I'm sure it's not done. There might be some edits I need to do, but it was really nice to just have a thing completed. Because, like, I am hitting small goals in other projects. Like, I get magpie pages done and we post them. Or, like, you know, recently finishing the nine-point thumbnails. That was cool. But, like, having something completely done where I don't have to worry about it anymore, it's just, like... It's this feeling that's really hard to describe. I guess it's just like a big rush of feel-good brain chemicals. But like, yeah, it's just really nice. So that was a really cool like boost midweek, especially because I was really stressed about getting done. And just because of life stuff, there was a few days where I was like, I need to get this done. It's due in a few days. And then I just couldn't for whatever reason. And I was like, no, I'm not going to have enough time to finish it. And then when I finally sat down, I was able to finish it in like a day or two. But like, Oh, it was so stressful, like, having it almost there and not being able to sit down and finish it. But it, it's done, so no worries. And that felt really good. It was really nice. Um, I'm making progress on the 24-hour comic corrections. If you were at the stream yesterday, you probably saw that I was working on those. So soon we'll be able to put that out as an ebook, and that'll feel really nice. And that'll be really good, and I'm excited for that. And I'm always excited to have new comics out especially short little ones. I mean, the 24-hour comic was really cool because I got to finish, like, kind of finish a comic within a day. And that was really nice. And it's just nice to have a break from, like, our typical big projects that we're always working on and do something new. And I think that's also what's really nice about the Hundreds anthology comic I did. Um, it's just something new and refreshing and I can try new techniques. But yeah, I guess I shouldn't rely only on publishing things as a way to be, like, satisfied with my work. Yeah, because I'm, I'm excited about Nine Point. I really am. I just want to make more progress with it. And I think part of that is because I'm excited for it and I want to see it get farther along and completed and try new things and stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'll just keep pushing and maybe try to schedule some more time into work. It's hard because, like, I promised myself I'd take more time off and have more, like, vacation time and... I have been. Like, I've been having a really nice time, like, spending time with Bones and the pets and just kind of, like, living in the moment instead of worrying about the next batch of work I need to do. Because, like, we went on a nature walk. Like, a nature walk. We went to a trail. We went on this big, long walk on Friday because uh, I had the day off work. And so we took the dogs and we went out into the forest and we were running through the mud and it was a really nice walk and we just got to talk and not worry about anything and just explore and have fun with our pets. So that was really nice. And I've been doing more stuff like that recently. It's so hard to balance that with like getting your work done and also like get keeping up with your life and spending time with people you love. I guess that's just like the eternal struggle of work and creative work and capitalism. So 
I don't know. <laughs> I gotta find a balance where I can still relax, get quality time with people, and I also need to, like, get the right amount of work done, so. I don't know. I'll keep working on it. Still try to figure out a balance, I guess. So I guess I should actually talk about Nine Point, right? <laughs> um, okay, so something I've noticed with what I'm working on with these pencils. Okay, I guess I do have stuff to say about pencils, but anyways. I've been finding it really hard to stay on model with the characters, and I think it's just because, like, I made these ref sheets so long ago, especially marbles, because he... I worked on it, like, a year or two ago with his his character design, so I'm not used to drawing him. I mean, I draw him for, like, promotional stuff all the time, but even then, it's not that often. So, yeah, so I'm not really used to drawing Ember or Marble. You know, it's not like Amanda and Trixie where I've drawn, like, 300 pages of them, so I can... I know basically how they look, and I just... I grab a reference just to double-check things. With this, I'm, like... I feel like I'm still, like, openly learning how to draw Marble and Ember, and I'm really thankful that I have these character sheets that I can stare at. Like, not only is it, it's, I'm still figuring out how to, like, get their expression and their character through, I'm also, like, struggling with the proportions of, like, drawing anthros. In my style, the way I draw people, I'm so used to how it looks that I've got, like, a general idea of the proportions, and, like, I have a base I can go off and then, like, push it from there to make the characters look different. I mean, that's a struggle on its own, but I have an idea of, like, a starting model. Whereas I'm finding drawing, like, Ember and Marble, Marble's especially hard because he's a kid character, and I struggle with, like, making my characters look young. They all tend to default to, like, an adult kind of look to them. But uh, yeah, I'm like, how big do I draw the head? How long is there, is, you know, this raccoon's snout? How big are the ears on this cat? Like, there's new proportions that I have to think about and be conscious of. And yeah, it's been a struggle. There's been lots of times where I have to go back and erase and try redrawing it because it just doesn't look right. But it's also fun. I really like these character designs and I'm really happy that I have my reference sheets to look at, because if I didn't, I would just be doing all this, plus trying to figure out what these characters look like. So yeah, make your reference sheets. It really, really helps. So there you go. That's, that's, <laughs> that's nine point. <sighs> I'm sure it'll get easier the more I draw these characters. It's just a new comic. I'm still learning. And I'll figure it out, I guess, right? Oh, so when I was, like, sitting down to make this vlog, I was actually kind of, like, racking my brain because I was like, oh, I don't know what new to say about, like, penciling that I haven't already said, um, especially in, like, other videos I've done. But, um, but I was reading through comments to see if anyone had any questions. So I grabbed a question from JK on the last video, and they asked, they were asking about how do you work despite having stressful life stuff? So yeah, I guess, so the past two weeks I've kind of been dealing with that. Like, um, I've been trying to balance, like I said, kind of keeping up with life and, like, outside of creative work and keeping up with creative work. And there was also some stressful doctor stuff I had to do. Yeah, how do you, how do you deal with stress and still get your work done? Uh, <laughs> it's hard, because I, like I said, I'm still struggling with, like, finding the balance. I mean, I guess that's what I've said this whole video. But... Honestly, I think the best answer I can give just from what I'm working out right now is take a break if you need it and do like the minimal amount of work you need to do if it has to get done. Life is always going to be like this. Like it's always stressful. There's always something else you could be doing besides your comics and there's always going to be a new wrench that gets thrown into your life that, you know, stresses you out beyond belief. Um, because, you know, stuff always goes wrong or, like, you have to do something new that's really scary. Um, and that's, that's just part of life and you gotta find ways to cope with it and be okay with that. So, yeah, when, when it's really, really hard, I think it's always good to, like, be okay with taking a break. Um, that's something that I struggle with a lot where I'm like, no, no, I've got to get my videos done. I've got to get my comics done. Sometimes you just need a break. You got to be like, you know what? I can't get this work done and be okay. So it's fine if I don't do my work for the week that this big stressful thing is happening. And if you really, really need to push through, like say you have this huge deadline coming up, you can't 
move the deadline. Honestly, if you do have a big deadline, it never hurts to say like, hey, can I have an extension? This big stressful thing is happening. Because usually if you're working with someone else, they'll understand. Or if you have an audience who's waiting for a, a comic page, they'll understand. If you're like, hey, I want to cry all the time right now. Can I <laughs> take a week off? People will probably be like, yeah, sure, that's fine. And you can work something out. I think that's like adulting at its finest is just communicating with people and telling them what you can and can't do anyways. But if you can't move the deadline for whatever reason, do the minimal amount of work every day. So what I like to do is I like to do time drawing sessions. I kind of do that when I'm filming stuff uh, for these videos. Uh, you know, sit down for 20 minutes every day and just draw. Don't worry about finishing the page. Don't worry about getting everything done. Just pick away at your work every day and you'll make more progress if you're not worrying about finishing things. If you're just focused on getting the work, you know, working on the work. <laughs> and yeah, it's a small commitment you can make if you're really busy. You know, it's pretty easy to sit down for, you know, 10, 20 minutes every day to do work or do that multiple times a day instead of forcing yourself to sit in a chair for eight hours to finish a page. Just whenever you have time, just say like, okay, I'm going to set a timer and work for 20 minutes and that'll be good. You can also, depending on how you're feeling that day, like there's some days where I come home and I'm like super brain tired because I, you know, maybe I had a stressful day at work and I had to do a lot of creative work that day and I'm just tired and exhausted, but I still need to get some work on my comic done. So sometimes I'll take like the easy tasks of, of a piece of art and get them done. So for example, like laying down panels on a bunch of pages, I'll just sit down and I'll, you know, just put, put the panels onto the page. I don't have to worry about filling them. They're just, I'm setting up the page for when I feel ready to do some illustration. Um, or like sitting down and doing the typography and the speech bubbles. Like I find that really easy to do for me. Um, so just whatever part of the process that you find very easy, kind of mindless that you can do, go ahead and do that on a day where like you don't feel like you can sit down and illustrate. And if there's a day where you're feeling like you can't, if there's a day where you're feeling really down about your work, um, do a part of the work that you find really fun and rewarding. Like, whatever part of the process that is for you, and I'm sure it's different from every person, but for me it's like, you know, maybe I can sit down and design one of the characters, because I find that really fun. You know, I, I like doing penciling. I also find that really fun. So just do a portion that you find really rewarding and exciting. Um, talk to your, you know, a friend or a creative partner and just get excited about your project again, because that can make a big difference when you're sitting down to work on something. Because if you're sitting down and dreading, like, oh, I'm not going to get this done. Oh, I'm supposed to be working on this, but I hate it right now. Like, just sit down and rekindle your love for the project and just think of all the reasons why you really like it. Because I think, for me, it really helps to, like, compartmentalize art from, like, life stress. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I definitely experience a lot of panic and stress and when, you know, things, things in daily life get kind of rough. But I find, like, once I sit down to draw... Uh, I can usually, I, I can distract myself from the other stressful stuff happening. So I can sit down and just focus on the work and I don't have to worry about, you know, that bill or that bad meeting I had or something like that. I can just focus on doing something I love, which is art. And maybe that's something that, you know, you might need to do when you're thinking about your art. Like, think of it as this fun break away from the rest of your stressful life instead of treating it as, like, one more stressful thing you have to do during the day. Um, and that can take some time to, like, rewire that in your head. Um, I, I still struggle with it, even though I do find art fun in general. Yeah, that's, that's just how I cope with it. And I hope you are able to find a way to also cope and de-stress and never be afraid of taking a break. There's no rush. There's no pressure for you to get your art done super, super fast, because your creative work is always going to be waiting for you if you have to take a, a step away for a little bit. And, you know, art is fun, and I hope you find ways to work on it and get it done. It's very rewarding and very fun. And yeah, man, stress, life stress is the worst, and my heart goes up to you. <sighs> so yeah, I hope that answers that question. <laughs> I mean, I have lots of videos talking about, like, how to deal with motivation and stress, but it's something I'm continually learning myself. 
Um, and I guess everyone kind of has to relearn it as they go through life because life is always throwing new bad things at you and you have to like learn how to stabilize and cope and be okay. Good luck, my friends. I'm, I'm rooting for you. I believe in you. Uh, and thank you so much for listening. Um, I guess if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, especially about, say, like, penciling or this portion of comics that I'm working on right now, because I'd love to help people out, because I was thinking, I was like, I don't know what to talk about, because I feel like I've talked about everything I could ever say, but there could be things that you guys have questions about that I've never thought about, or that, you know, you know, I don't know what you don't know, so let me know if you have a question about something I'm doing or something you're struggling with, and I'd love to talk about them in these vlogs more. So, yeah. Thank you again, and make sure to go check out the Kickstarter and support it if you can. If, you know, you're not in a place where you can make a pledge to it, we always appreciate a share. You know, tell your friends about it. Um, that helps us just as much as pledging to the campaign. So, thank you again. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, the Kickstarter campaign should be linked down below in the description. See you later. Goodbye.